You got your seatbelt on? Yeah. Make sure that's on, mate. It is. If I have a head on, you could get decapitated by that seatbelt. Rescue hero Phil Olivetti quit his job with the police force to pursue a career as a motivational speaker. Our Kayla knows I need a microphone, I hope, Jordan. No. You didn't mention it? No. Oh, that's great, isn't After it? After weeks of campaigning, he's finally secured his first speaking engagement. How are you going, Warwick? Good to see you. Show me to the, the best parking spot. Quiet, please. Can you all sit down in your position? Um... My dad's going to talk to us about rescuing. Uh, he was on the news for the jumping bravery castle Award. thing. Mention the bravery award. Bra um, yeah, so here's my dad, Phil. Settle down, settle down. Thank you, Jordan, and good afternoon, boy and girl scouts. Hello, Ray Martin. Sorry, wrong speech. Today, we are talking about rescue techniques. What would you do in an emergency situation? Do you have the skills to react accordingly? I doubt it. Hand up if you think you'd know what to do. You, you'd know, you would know what to do, would you? What's your name? Harriet. Harriet. You'd, you'd be completely confident with what to do in any rescue situation. If I say, for example, the, the scout hall is stormed by some terrorists and they, a sniper from up in that tree shoots R. Kayla in the head and he falls down in a pool of blood, you'd, you'd know what to do, would you? What would you do? How would you deal with that? Because I know how to deal with that and I will run through that later. Okay, up on your feet and let's head outside. We're going to simulate a situation where an emergency rescue is required. I need one volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? Jeremy, okay, under the log please, mate. Go around this side and just squirm yourself under the log. Oh, yes, sorry. Right, okay. You guys who can help me, please? All right, the scenario is Jeremy's been out bushwalking. Terrorists have triggered a tree to land on his back. He's been under there for several hours. You guys are out bushwalking. You come across this scenario. What do you do? Check Anyone? to see if he's breathing. Check to see if he's breathing? Wrong. You waste crucial minutes checking. Survey the situation, you've got a log on a child. What can you do to get this kid out of there? See Jordan. if he can move at all? Yes, go and have a look, see if he can move. He's gone all quiet. You've gone all, you're okay, Jeremy? No, it's starting to hurt. Okay. He's turning purple. What, that's, you're turning purple, that's circulation. Okay, we need to abort the exercise and get Jeremy out of there very quickly. You okay, mate? How are your legs? My legs. They're feeling a bit numb. My it's head hurts numb. too. Okay, we will abort the exercise there. I'll get the log off. If I can get you to quickly help me get the log off. It's actually a real emergency situation now, guys. If we can get this off, please. Somebody help me. Get it off. Pull it, please. Okay, pulling the rope, guys. Okay. Right, the rope's broken. That's good. That's, um, we'll come up with something else. How you going, Jeremy? You are okay, mate? You good? You good? You can hang on. I'm going to whack this in the back of the car. Okay, Jeremy? Okay, we'll get you out of there, mate. Come on. Okay, stand back, guys. He's not going to die. Don't be ridiculous. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, hold on, mate. Just taking a deep breath. Just roll it off gently. Okay, shit, shit, shit. I'm going to put this board underneath you. And we'll put it up on a stretch and take it to the ambulance and then off to hospital. Well, do you remember what happened? Um, so weird that I dropped a log on it. Okay. I think looking back on it, I probably wouldn't have chosen Jeremy. Not not a good choice of volunteer. He's he's not he's a he's a wuss. Um, Jordan's always said that. I remember my dad my dad kept me pinned under a, a railway sleeper in the backyard once because I'd, I'd pissed on his tomato plants. And that, that did hurt. That actually hurt quite a bit. So probably, yeah, it would have hurt. would have hurt. Yeah. He'll come good. Yeah, he'll come good. <laughs> 